and here we are at 20 years, and we think about it all the time. You know, we just want closure. We just want to know where she is. 20 years, and Jennifer Lunsford is still waiting for word on her sister, Allison, someone she loved and counted on and who just disappeared. We talk about it. My children talk about it. You know, they were real close to her, and, um, you know, we miss her. We talk about her, certainly at special occasions, and, you know, she's kind of the life of the party. And Is this her? Yeah, this is Allison. And that was at my second wedding. That's Allison and me and our sister Michelle. Pictures of Allison are what she has left, along with questions that have never been answered. Pictures, including one that ended up on the flyer when Allison disappeared. As far as we know, the last time anybody saw her was that Thursday night. And she, when Mallory went to bed, Mallory got up the next morning and she was not there. That next morning, March 1st of 2002, is when the family headed to Allison's small Rankin apartment and gathered there, trying to figure out where she was, as her 10-year-old daughter Mallory cried for her mom. Later, the family searched and found Allison's car at a parking lot, and then police got involved and a larger search was conducted, but nothing. Now Rankin police say they're taking a new look at the case. We're going to do everything that we can to bring closure to them. They deserve it. 20 years is a long time. You know, that little girl grew up without her mother. Detective Lee Chadwick says they may have a person of interest. Get ready for a knock on your door. I want to talk to you. And I want to talk to the people that helped you. Police won't say more, but Allison's sister believes there are people who have information. Because we do believe there was help with the cover-up. We do believe there's more than one person that knows exactly what happened. Allison's in this picture. This was at my dad's retirement. In the last 20 years, Jennifer says both her parents have died. But before her mother died, about 10 years ago, they put up a marker for Allison at the family plot in Millen, a sign that she had lived and that her family loved her. What do you think your life would have been like if this had never happened? I would have had help marry my parents. I would have had support. I would have had her. I would have had her to help raise my children, and I'd helped her raise hers and we'd have been able to do it together. I'd have had somebody to count on and lean on now that I'm sick. I have ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. Jennifer says she doesn't know if she will be here on the 25th anniversary, which is why she hopes someone will just finally come forward now and help her family. Please just find a way to tell it. I mean, you know, just find a way anonymously. I mean, you can still make anonymous calls to Crime Stoppers. We still have a reward out there for information leading to an arrest, but we don't even care about the arrest anymore. We just want to know where her remains are. We just really want to know where her remains are. We just feel like we deserve that. She deserves that. She deserves that. She is a human being, and she was a good human being. Joanne Merrigan, WSAV News 3, on your side.